Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plami and in this episode of Ray the K, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be reacting to VAD's Made for Two music video which was recently released. And I know it's been like a week or so since it was released but uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while and watching the end of my videos, you'll know that I said I was going to move soon and I have finally moved. And that was kind of the reason why I haven't uploaded anything for like a week because I moved because I wanted to acclimate to the new place and everything and figure out and everything. I just didn't really feel ready to do videos in this place. Like, I hopefully you understand what I mean. But uh, there's also one good thing about the fact that I've moved because for the last few days I've been really not too happy with the moving despite the fact that I thought I was going to be. But apparently, moving to a different city that is far from your parents it's quite the emotionally draining uh, experience but because I've moved to a big town now I've been able to get a faster internet connection which means that now I don't have to care or worry about using up all my past internet or anything like that which means that now I can actually upload high quality videos it's still not going to be anything crazy, like I'm not going to be uploading in like full HD or whatever. But my videos from this point going forward are going to be at least 720p. Uh, or at least the highest quality possible that I can do uh, on my PC. Because for example with like my gaming videos, I, for some of the video games I still cannot do full HD or whatever. Because my PC just cannot handle recording at that quality, you know. But still, you're gonna see an improvement in my quality, which hopefully will satisfy you, but yeah, there's that. And yeah, you might also notice that from now on, I'm gonna be reacting to uh, groups, comebacks, one by one, not like stacking four of them together. And that is because for some reason, um, well, it's an obvious reason when you think about it, naming my K-pop reaction videos Raid the K, uh, I, I guess somehow stunted the views for the videos because the second I changed it to K-pop reactions back again, my video views and my big clicks on my videos has skyrocketed again because I was actually going on a downward trend for some reason, which I think that is the reason why. And I also ended up changing my, the video names for other videos uh, that also boosted my views. But yeah, it's been interesting for that. So because uh, putting four videos together and putting each uh, music video's title in the title uh, makes the title too long, I've had to just do one by one from now on, so that's pretty much how we're gonna go. I'll still do uh, K-pop album reactions, but it's probably gonna end up separated most of the time into two or three videos, we'll see how exactly it's gonna go, but I don't think it's gonna be more than three songs per video, so yeah. That's kind of my little update on the situation right now, so I guess let's go back to the reaction that you came for, that being DB's Made for Two, for which I'm excited for because I heard a little bit of the teaser and I liked it, so I'm excited for it, but it seems like it's going to be a little bit more generic love song, which is not like VAV has been crazy on the meaningful or deep stuff or anything like that, but I just hope it's not the uh, slower song is that's my main word for it so without further ado let's get into it in three two one okay so it's an outdoors music video i like that I gotta say, VAB has had a surprisingly high quality music videos considering they, their size. Like, they barely sell, like, what, six, maybe eight thousand albums. But their music videos and their songs have been very high quality. It's quite the change from, like, their debut song. If you haven't seen it, I would advise you to not see it because it's pretty bad. And yeah, I'm sorry if I'm a little qu more quiet in these videos, it's because I have to make sure that I do not annoy the neighbors, because they're now living in an apartment. Before I didn't have to worry about anything like that.
Then, the camera work is really good. I love all the sweeping shots where the camera moves around the mirrors. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit more chill compared to most of their songs. I love this beat though. So not all hope lo is lost for this song. They're definitely killing it on the vocals department in this one though. Because usually it talks more on the rapping in this group, but the vocals are fucking insane. And I'm sorry that I'm swearing, but sometimes I just cannot hold myself. Again, in this one, just for because of the nature of the song, for me the rapping is not gonna be as good because it's a more, it's a little bit slower song, so. And it's not the kind of song that even switches up the speed too much, so the rapping is kind of forced to be slow as well. But it's still not terrible, like I definitely listen to much worse rapping. Just for me, that kind of like slow rapping is not something that I like. But the vocals are fucking insane, like, if there's anything about this song that I really like, it's the vocals. If I listen to this song, it's gonna be for the vocals, for sure. Okay. So, before we get into it a second time, there are a few things that I just want to maybe expand a little bit on. Um, this song is definitely a departure a, a little bit from their music so far because I feel like from the point where I started listening to them, which um, I think it was at some point, either late 2018, I think it most likely was early 2019, uh, I listened to Senorita, then uh, I checked out some of their more, with older songs, like uh, I think it was Gorgeous, it's another really good song. Um, from that point until now, I feel like they've had mostly energetic, kind of very fast songs, or relatively fast, with relatively hard-hitting rapping as well. So this one feels a little bit of a departure because it focuses more on the vocals and it's mostly about the vocals overall because it seems like it's a love song. Although I cannot know for sure because I don't know what they're singing about because I'm not... Uh, watching it with lyrics or anything and despite it being a little different from their usual songs I still like it I still think it's a good song I do think and I wish that the rapping was a little bit stronger but the fact that it's not it's not really too bothersome I still enjoy it so yeah um, I am tiny a little bit disappointed because the impression I got for the song from the teaser was a little bit different like in the teaser they still showed that there was going to be a focus on the scene but i feel like i had just a little bit of a better impression like i had the impression that the song was going to be a little bit better like the weak part of the song for me is definitely the rapping and i i guess in my imagination i was thinking that the rapping was going to be just as good and just the vocals were going to be amplified in quality so yeah, uh, let's get into it again in three, two, one. And yeah, the music video, as I said, is also really good. I do love outdoors music videos whenever they are aesthetically pleasing, which this one is. It reminds me a little bit of uh, on and off music videos, or at least some of them.
Also, I feel like in this one, the rappers are more singing the rapping. They're actually singing. Because this is the, a rapper and he's singing. Yeah, this one is definitely not gonna be on repeat as much as Give Me More or Poison or Senorita or Gorgeous, but I still think it's a really good song. It's just my personal preferences for K-pop songs are a little different from this, but I still am able to acknowledge whenever a song is good. Also, isn't one of the members going to the military or something? Or am I confusing it with a different group? Geo with the vocals. Insane fan. He, he's so good. I love his high voice. He's amazing. Stop sleeping on VV, goddammit. They're such a good group. They honestly deserve to be so much bigger. I know the company probably couldn't afford it or something, I know apparently they were never asked or were able to, but this show should have gone to Road to King Kingdom. They just need the exposure because I feel like their music is such high quality, they just need the exposure, they just need more people to know them. Oh man, I'm gonna tell you what I was laughing about in a second. Oh man, so what I was laughing about is uh, recently, uh, whenever, what was the group that released Aloha Oe? I think that was Cherry Bullet, I believe. Um, I watched the reaction by K Junkies. And they were joking about uh, that if a uh, K-pop music video has those sparkly things, at least I think that's what else they were talking about, that it usually is the sign. Like you can expect to see that in low budgeted K-pop music videos during the summer especially, or mainly. And uh, the second I saw it in this uh, summary music video of a small company and small group, like it just made me laugh a little bit. But yeah, the song is actually not bad, I enjoy it. It's not what I would, would have wanted it to release, but the fact that they're switching it up a little bit and not just releasing another song that perfectly uh, appeals to me is actually not too bad of a uh, thing because as much as I love groups to keep doing what I want them to do, I also think it's good to switch it, switch it around a little bit because Eventually it's gonna get old whether I want it or, or like it or not So switching it up a little bit to make uh, to keep things interesting is actually a good thing Even though yes, I would have enjoyed a more energetic and hype song more than this I still think them doing this is better overall than just releasing another hype song, you know And yeah, I think personally I'm gonna give this one a 9.2 out of 10 uh, because obviously I would have uh, enjoyed and rated uh, an, an energetic song higher, most likely a 10 out of 10 or close to that. But because it's not that, it's gonna get a 9.2 out of 10, which is still a high score, but it's not as high as it could have been. 
Um, well, objectively, I mean, I think I could give it easily a 10 out of 10, but I think a better score would be a 9.8 out of 10 because I still feel the wrapping is a little weak. Definitely could see a little bit of an improvement in it. It feels just a little weaker compared to the rest of the song. Because the rest of the song, yes, it's vocals, but the vocals are actually really good. It's just the wrapping just feels a little weak. And yes, I think it's mainly the speed of the song just not fitting with the rapping and maybe the rapping that I only enjoy, but it's just weak, it's just weak, I don't know. So I think I'm gonna keep it at 9.8 even objectively. Although if you really love the song, you can take it as a 10 out of 10 if you want, that's completely fine. So yeah, uh, that was my reaction to VAV. If you want to see more like this, uh, you can request reaction in the comments down below, though I don't promise when I'm going to get your specific request, because I react to album uh, and b-sides anyway, so I'll most likely react to what you want me to react to eventually, so you probably shouldn't uh, request it down below. but. I would be open to suggestions at the very least, just don't necessarily expect me to react to it. And still I have to react to like 14 more songs now, so yeah, you're probably gonna see the things that you want me to react to soon. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like and subscribe, also check out the link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, cause in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you end up enjoying my stories over on Wattpad or you simply enjoy my videos over here on YouTube, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help keep the channel going and help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But still, if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.